The Homegrown School Feeding Program provides hot meals every day to nearly 85,000 primary school students in 104 schools in Rwanda through the support given by the U.S. Department of Agriculture and MasterCard. A daily school meal is, is a very strong incentive for parents to send their children to school. It's the best tool to increase access for boys and girls to education. Um, and in our homegrown school feeding program in Rwanda, we actually offer additional to the meal a package of health interventions and education interventions. Each day, Denise walks nearly two kilometers to reach school and back. Today, Denise has energy inside and outside of school and performs at the top of her class. For many students living in the program districts, school meals are often the only regular and nutritious meal a child receives. <laughs> Aligned with the government of Rwanda's Vision 2020, WFP works closely with the Ministry of Education and the Ministry of Agriculture and Animal Resources to support the development of national frameworks and the eventual local production of the school feeding commodities. Most food insecure areas, some of these kids would not necessarily get you know, sufficient meals in their respective homes. So with this intervention, kids get at least a meal at school, then go back home. Moving forward, definitely like any other government, you know, the well-being of its population comes first. And I think this is very critical that, you know, for the most food insecure areas, some of these kids are rest assured of a meal, which is good for all of us. In the southern province, students receive a daily meal of maize and beans, while students in the western province receive hot porridge. New kitchens, stoves, and storage rooms constructed in each school allow for sufficient space to prepare school meals. To complement existing activities within the homegrown school feeding program, WFP purchases fortified maize meal and beans through local and regional food procurement on the local market for supply to schools, further increasing impact by directly linking school feeding to the development of the local economy. Cooperatives made up of smallholder farmers are supported throughout the agricultural process, starting before planting and post-harvest handling, marketing, and final sale to buyers, offering premium prices for quality produce. The interventions of World Food Program with these, these uh, smallholder farmers is, at the end of the day, contributing to the uh, development of these farmer organizations and individual farmers in these cooperatives because this is a business and it's making profit. We did a cost benefit analysis of our homegrown school feeding program in Rwanda and we found that for every dollar you invest, the rate of return is nearly five dollars. Because with the meal we provide better nutrition, better health, 
and better education outcomes. And that makes that these children not only become more healthy, but they also become more productive throughout the course of their lifetime. Gardens for Health International partners with WFP to create demonstration kitchen gardens at each school to educate students on garden management and basic nutrition principles. World Vision International partners with WFP to provide a holistic package of wash and literacy activities to improve students' quality of education. These include the construction and rehabilitation of school latrines and the provision of rainwater harvesting tanks and portable hand washing stations. In Rwanda, nearly one in three persons cannot read. To improve the quality of literacy instruction and encourage a culture of reading among children, World Vision trains teachers to use new instruction techniques and to make creative teaching materials. Additionally, thousands of storybooks have been distributed for use in schools and community reading clubs. <laughs> Buno rero dukurikije amahugurwa twahaye umwana no gufita umwanya munene wo gukora WFP will build on its experience globally handing over school feeding programs to 38 national governments to reach transition of school feeding in Rwanda to future national level scale up through close collaboration with government communities and the private sector Because of the school feeding program, Denise is able to look forward into her future and dream big. Thank you very much. God bless you.